Hello, and today we're with our mate Jan. Yes. You're over here interviewing Charlotte. Mm hmm. And you thought you'd join us for a chili test. Uh, I didn't think, but you persuaded me into doing it. So, yes, I. I would, I would love to do it. Ah, yes. I like, I like that smile. Yes. yes, yes, yes. That Scandinavian, what am I going into? And smile. We, what are we trying today? We're trying a red fatali. It's okay, because I haven't tried one yet either. Okay. So, the fatali is a habanero variety. Plants get to about 60 or so centimeters tall. These are about five centimeters long, three wide. Yes. And the rest is We'll see how it goes. And, and what would you say, sort of in general, uh, what would you say it's good for? Or it's, 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 what kind of dish would it uh, perform well in? Well, any dish to add a bit of heat. <laughs> yeah. Depends whether you want to cook with it or you want to put it over the top. I recommend chopping it up. That's what I love about you chili potheads. It's almost like any dish, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what about a weaker chili? Any dish at all. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have a bit of heat or it's just not chilly. Oh no. So you if you choose one. You yeah, pick yeah, one. Yeah, I pick one. Yeah. Uh, uh, why do you pick the why do I pick the most fruity one and not the sort of the more pale? You can you take can that one. It's up to you. It's up to you. But w which one would be weakest? None of None. Them. None. It would be the no. same. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I bite something off and I chew it. You can see Neil start. We just say cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. And you can have as much of it as you want. Long okay. I'll pull them. Okay. Fruity. Shall we? I take half. It's fruity. You get a fruity kind of a florally kind of a flavor. If I can say strawberry in a very intense form, would that be? No. That's correct. And you shouldn't think. Sink it, isn't that going away? You chew and then you should, then you swallow. Ooh! And now it's going from strawberry to hot cold stage. <laughs> to just being dragged. I'll be trucked after a four towns here on asphalt way. Oh God! They will the back of my throat. It burns. And the heat starts to build. It moves forward on your tongue. You're and does it help on? talking or? It helps well, like breathing in. Go with it. Feel that build? The heat builds, moves forward in the mouth. My tongue's going off. Back of the throat's going off. And what helps with the burn? For the burn? Milk. Milk. Cheese. But it's actually better uh, just to go with it. Relax. Do you get a lot of drool? Yeah, the drool yeah. will come. Yeah, it's like sucking uh, on the ass of a rabbit. I haven't tried that. It feels like someone <laughs> put a blowtorch in my mouth and fried my tongue. Oh, it's good. <laughs> it makes you feel alive. Why? Yeah. Oh, why are you hicking? It's, it makes Hick you hiccup. Up. It's got the you got these nerves. What are they? The thuring? Flamingos <laughs> now. Now it's flamingos. It's so hot that it like makes a nerve that gives hiccup. Whole mouth How's going your tongue, off. Then? This helps. <laughs> <laughs> this actually helps doing that. And with the fatali, you'll notice your tongue will burn. Then the back of your throat will burn. Huh? Then you'll get the top of the mouth burning. And that's a that's a speciality for the fatali? Yes. Yeah. It has a chopping and changing around the mouth burn. Wow. Yeah. But that is really nice flavoured for a fatali. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, now my throat is I'm so glad you said that. What can you compare it to otherwise? <laughs> uh, getting a cigarette lighter and lighting it and putting your mouth over it. Have you have you ever been in the have you ever been drafted? No. It's like being in the military. And just just find out you've been shot by your aunt. <laughs> you know that your aunt just all of a sudden just come up behind you and just say, Whoa! Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> For oh, hell what we behave it. This 
Dang. You're going quite well. Det er jo idioti det her, det er jo simpelthen så dumt. Det er jo ikke med dig. My tongue is starting to hurt. Yeah. I can it's feel it hot. down my esophagus burning. My tongue is just going boom, 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 boom. Back oh, of the throat. Shut up, Neil. Settle down. But it's, it's not a musical. <laughs> <laughs> just gently. It'll Ooh. get to a certain level and it'll peak and then it'll just cruise along for a while. But you did well. You did very well. Yes, what is we? Nay, hold on, man. But it's good we didn't take the super hot one, the Carolina Reaper, man. Yeah, and that's about a quarter of the way up to. Well, not even a quarter of the way up to where a Carolina Reaper is. Is this how you get? How you sort of? Are you hooked up with Charlotte? <laughs> so how she? How you scored her? Oh, no, no. Well, I saw him. I've seen one of your chili tests. You were watching the videos? Yes, I did. And asked me a chili you. question. That was it. Like what? What should grow in Denmark? Hmm. <laughs> on what Twitter. So we met via a question on Twitter and just kid it off. Okay. And the first time you did uh, join, got me to join the chili test, you gave me a scorpion. That's like four times the heat of this one. Oh yes. my god. It's like, welcome to the family, my love. Yeah. <laughs> It's like... But it is hot. I'm crying. Oh Are you God. crying? It's I'm crying. It's peak now. It's not getting worse. What, what's he called? The boy with the guy with the swastika in his head? The American guy? Oh, Charles Manson. This is like coming into the, the, the Manson, the Charles Manson family. See? Well, you've been assimilated now. Yeah. You're part of our family. Oh. See, normally we have a. This is. The, I break. feel like. Why don't you? I know the immigration laws are pretty strict in Australia and we talked about Danish politicians coming down to visit that island where you put the immigration the the refugees first why don't you just give them one of those chilies <laughs> and say if you can eat one of those each week you will we'll, you will let you stay, you can stay. yeah yeah that would be that, a good and people too. will say I'd rather live in Syria <laughs> than go through this again Oh, this is hard. Ah, uh, but you're settling into it now. You look quite relaxed it, it, it's, and it's mellow. It's getting better. It's getting better. Yeah. Well, what we'll do? We'll Puff, give it a few minutes. Take a little break. Take a little break. Come then back. we'll come back when you've collected all your and thoughts. And is that a good advert for people sitting and watching this? Yes. Saying, I would love the seeds from that chili. Yeah. Yes, but it's <laughs> great having you here because normally if we're doing it, it's But only an idiot hard. would buy seeds. Who makes you feel like that? I'm a professional idiot trying to convert <laughs> large amounts of people to become idiots themselves. Oh, I love that. I'm a professional <laughs> idiot. For it actually says, says that in our video. At the start of the video. I'm a professional idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay for the dog, dear man. <laughs> so there we go. The red fatale. Can we take it five minutes break? You did really well. We'll give it five minutes. We'll come back and we'll see how you unfold. Oh. All right. You know like chili clouds, mate. Catch you soon. Catch you later. Welcome back to the professional idiotic place. <laughs> It's the Hippie Seed Company. And we're here to tell you how it felt to taste a, a red uh, habanero. Fatali. Fatali. Red Fatali. Yeah. My name is Jan and I'm a guest. And I'm going to tell you. Don't ever try this at home. <laughs> do not do that at home. Do not do that at home. That was very, very strong. I think And, but the thing is that when you said fruity, I actually felt that strawberry fruit yeah. coming up, you know, and I felt, oh, flavors of uh, hippie strawberry. And then I just lost it. Then After that, then it, it just, you know, then you just concentrate on surviving. Yes. But after a while, when you start eating them every day... For how long can you keep up the, the, the taste of something other than just heat? It depends on the chili. The flavor stays sometimes and then the heat will overtake it. Sometimes not. But today, now, you know, yeah, yeah, when I, when I said now, you know, I can't taste anymore after a minute and a half. But could you keep on 
Or, or does it yeah, take yeah, over yeah, there yeah, as yeah. well? No, 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 no. Can't you taste I can't taste anything now. <clears throat> okay. No? Well, like no, it's like, you tower. know, I just uh, ate a, a, a motorcycle. <laughs> Yeah, Mouse motorcycle, yeah, robbing just, a bit inside. Yeah, just in, yeah. In, in low riffs, just hammering it in a garage in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, the burn goes for a fair while with them. I was quite surprised. My mouth is still burning. Yes. My tongue and my lips. But yeah. the taste is my taste is gone. That's what happens. But but the fruity me thing, you would feel that in a dish, wouldn't it? In a, in yeah, a big would, pot. Yeah. yeah. A, well, a stew. Nah, wouldn't you, you feel the fruity me? If, if you cook with it in the food the flavour will disperse through the food, so you might just get a lot of heat. But what we like to do is cook the food, chop them up, and put fresh ah, over the top. So okay. then, yeah. then you'll get that fresh okay. flavour. So okay. just and the heat. slices of this and sprinkle it over your food. Okay. What else good piece of advice? It, 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 it helps on, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, the old uh, rises? That's right. Well, yeah, arthritis. I had arthritis, yeah, and it ended up after having large amounts of, well, hotter ones than this, probably the butjalokia and above. Yeah, my arthritis went away. So and it's good for your prostate. You won't get prostate cancer. Ah, here. you won't. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll never get prostate. I'll never have a prostate. My prostate just <laughs> fell off. Actually, <laughs> the whole thing with with testicles and peanuts and everything. The whole thing is just down there. Ah. But I'll never get prostate. No. What, no. what, what about humor? Does it help on your, on your humoristic sense? Well, it's good for me. I get to laugh. I, I, had, I had no... After the, the first 60 seconds, I felt great on humor. And then it just disappeared <laughs> totally for the next five minutes. I was really, you know, just trying to survive. That's what I was saying about not planning to say anything. Some people have scripts and some people oh. have all of these big ideas of what they're going to do and oh. say. Yeah. But as you can Don't see, do that. that just goes straight out the window. Yeah. Just say, strawberry, and then just <laughs> try to survive. <laughs> All right. That was a good experience. Oh, I loved it. We loved having I will you. warmly recommend the Hippie Seed Company. If you are in the neighborhood and you want to be knocked over, please Come join in. this yeah. outrageously silly couple. We'll catch you later. <laughs>